Welcome to the Chatterbox session today. As the tramp watched, the sales lady opened a box and took out two toy mice, a large one and a small one. It's set in a toy shop um, somewhere in the world. You first meet a tramp, uh, the mouse and his child and a little black and white spotted dog. And an elephant and a seal. seal. They are all wind-ups. At midnight, they can they have the ability to talk. Some people come along and buy them and take them home to their children as a Christmas present. They dance underneath the Christmas tree. They get thrown in a bin. Because they're flat and they've been broken. And they're there for a few weeks, and then a tramp comes along and pick, takes them out and goes back to the scrapyard. Some Manny rat and some other rats. Manny Rat takes him back to his place and um, his assistant Ralphie takes them to the bank to steal some food for Manny. They keep them to do all the work for them so they don't have to work. Well, they kind of go to this forest area where they meet this frog who's a fortune teller. Wow. The frog says that they've got a long and hard journey ahead of them. And they meet all the other, these other characters. A crow who's part of this performing thingy. The merciless child finds the doll's house um, and the dolls that live in it and the seal and the elephant. And the I like man the rat, Manny. Uh, I don't really know why, and I like all of them. Baby Mouse, because, um, it, well, he's got loads of questions, and um, when he's meant to be quiet, it's like, always talks. I quite like Manny Rat as well. He just adds an element of danger. I knew that the Mouse Child would be like one of my favourite characters throughout the book. Uh, same reasons as Finn, he's really funny, and he wanted uh, the elephant from the doll's house to be his mama. It's really funny, it's really sweet.